sports is going on here. Whoa, 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 there, Slim. Where do you think you're going? Whoa, 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 whoa. What are we up to, fellas? Whoa, 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 whoa. What you got going there, Tor? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What in the wide, wide world of sports you got going on, Phil? Safety Proctor Clyde here with the next episode of More on Safety. And today we're going to talk about intervention. Intervention is simple but not easy. Or is it easy and not simple? Either way, what we're going to do today is we're going to show you some ways to hopefully make it so you can become a better intervener. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's with all the noise whoa, 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 over there, whoa, whoa, whoa. mister? I'm practicing my intervener skills so I can do more on interventions. We know, Daryl, there's, there's more than just one way of intervening, you know, with, with people. Have you ever, uh, you ever been stopped by the cops for speeding? Yeah, pretty sure I have, Clyde. You think that was an intervention? Yeah, you know, I guess it was. He was intervening because you were breaking a rule. Yeah, he, oh. did, he did stop me there yeah. two yeah. times. You ever been stopped by the cops and they said, Hey, Daryl, that was a great right turn you made. <laughs> no, Clyde, oh, but I sure wish they would. Sure wish they would. Okay. Yeah. Now, would you rather have somebody walking up the stairway and go, Hey, buddy, grab the handrail. No. Or, what would you rather do? I'd rather hear him say, Hey, buddy, nice work on the handrail. Encouragement, encouragement, encouragement. Exactly. So there's different kinds of intervention, and uh, we're going to cover a couple different ones. So keep going. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Thanks, Clyde. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Hey, hey, hey. Excellent good job. job hey, way to go on the traction whoa, device. Nice head, nice eye protection. See you later for And here's somebody that knows quite a bit about intervention. Our good friend, Mr. Scotty Beal. Scotty? Thanks, Clyde. Appreciate the opportunity to be a moron, just like you, bud. Many people understand the concept that we would rather be reinforced than given guidance. $20 phrase for what? Pay people compliments instead of criticizing. Here's how you do that. It's always necessary to intervene when you see an at risk. Don't forget to pay people compliments when they are using the best work practice. So when you see somebody using the best work practice, go, hey, way to go. Nice job on the traction vices. Way to protect your eyes. Way to protect yourself on those uneven walking, working surfaces, stairs by grabbing that handrail. Make it upbeat. Give them a compliment. Pay them that $20. You can afford it. Good job on the handrail there, buddy. <laughs> my moron safety uh, <clears throat> intervention non-verbal intervening skills. Oh, you mean you can intervene by not even saying anything? Oh, yeah, watch this. See the guy without the safety glasses on? Watch yeah. this. Hey! Just put his glass on. Yeah, I did. Cool, yeah, huh? That's awesome. <clears throat> Let me try it. Okay, hey, go. This. You yeah, go. Should have a zero. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, that that works. Right, easy it is. Nice. You know, intervening can be simple and easy. Yep. Yeah. Simple and easy. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Let's 
to allay your dread in spite of all you knew and said were hard to see. doesn't matter what what shirt you got on what name you got on your shirt intervene bud may cost your finger got it I was a police officer in Dillingham and uh, when I got out of the police academy uh, we uh, were trained a little different than the veterans before me I was trained to carry my flashlight by my side they were trying to carry it on their shoulder. I intervened uh, numerous times and we got called one night to a, <clears throat> a break in. My partner had his uh, flashlight on his shoulder and when I went to intervene again, he fell into my arms. He was shot in the head. And that's what it means to me. Never give up an intervention, never. I've actually been uh finding myself intervening more at home than I have at work lately. Uh, for instance, last time I was home, caught my buddy riding down the snow machine trail without his helmet, so went home and gave him mine and I had to get a new one, but at least he's out there riding with one now, so. I had a vein on a guy that's been here for 20 years. Uh, I knew he had been doing it for a long time, but I told him maybe it's a better way to do it. And we looked at it and sure enough, he agreed with it. And I guess now he's incorporated that into the way he does his task now. There's lots of different ways to intervene. Positive intervention is my favorite, but you can't always use positive intervention. And if somebody intervenes on you, they're not doing it just to be bossy. They're doing it because they care, because nobody wants to see somebody else get hurt. And hopefully, that same person might need intervention, and, and hopefully you can intervene on them too. And if you can't do positive intervention, you can always do how I do it. Easy there, Slim. Tune in next week for next episode of Safety Proctor Clyde with more on safety. They can't always do, shoot. Try and have an open mind. They're not being bossy. They just want to this freaking Hi, safety proctor Clyde here with another another being like an overhead crane or not, but it is a tool and it is taking advantage of uh of the There you go. You are the master intervener. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. You are. Hit the bricks, Chubbs. <laughs> there you have it, a little bit more.